Hello, my name is Marisa Krisoko and I'm the program director for the Yukon Tab, a program at the University of Connecticut that helps communities in New England clean up and restore brownfields. This short video will introduce you to what brownfields are and what we can do about them in simple terms in under five minutes. In plain language, a brownfield is a place that people previously used and that is now abandoned, typically with vacant, dilapidated buildings. Brownfield sites are also likely polluted from past human activities, usually commercial or industrial. A picture is a thousand words, so here are some typical examples of brownfields around New England. Some are as small as abandoned gas stations. Some are medium-sized, like these old dry cleaning shops. And some are sprawling textile mills or brass factories that are left from the industrial past of our region. The Environmental Protection Agency has identified over 3,000 brownfields throughout New England, and we know that there are many more that remain unlisted. Many are concentrated in de dense urban areas, while others are in small rural communities with few resources. Brownfield sites can have several different sources of pollution, such as abandoned drums with chemicals and waste underground storage tanks that may leak heating oil or other solvents used in manufacturing processes, electrical transformers that contain harmful chemicals called PCBs. It was also common that waste and wastewater was dumped in lagoons in the environment with no treatment or protection. Many brownfield buildings contain hazardous building materials such as asbestos and lead paint and the soil underneath may be mixed with ash and other materials that contain heavy metals, such as lead. The pollution and blight at brownfield sites have multiple negative impacts on our health, the quality of our environment, the attractiveness and vitality of our communities, and the ability to prosper and attract economic development. Dealing with those impacts is definitely a priority for communities throughout New England. Redeveloping a brownfield is generally a long and arduous process that can take years. It starts with assessment to obtain samples from the site and understand where the pollution is and if it has spread over time. This information is then used to develop and execute a cleanup plan to meet standards set forth by the state environmental protection agencies. These standards ensure that people and ecosystems are protected after cleanup is complete. Then, redevelopment can begin to put the site back to productive use. Multiple sources of funding and a lot of planning are required throughout these steps, and the involvement of the community is critical to ensure that the project meets the needs of those who live around the brownfield. Many people are involved in the process, ranging from the local and state government to engineers and scientists, lawyers, policy makers, and real estate developers. The community should be at the center of decision making and part of the communication and engagement plan of a brownfield redevelopment project. Ultimately, a successful brownfield project is a win-win-win situation for all, protecting vulnerable populations, creating jobs, and ultimately vibrant, vibrant communities. The Park Theatre in Jaffrey, New, New Hampshire, is only one example of how a blighted building was converted to a community resource, with many more success stories throughout New England. The mission of the Yukon Tab is to help communities create more of these success stories. We are funded by the Environmental Protection Agency and provide free assistance and resources. Whether you are a government official, community leader, or concerned citizen, you can contact us to ask how we can help your community.